Hey guys, welcome back to part two. We're making shepherd's pie. So uh, where we left off is we already have the meat mixture in the bottom of the pan. And um, I got the cauliflower out of the microwave, perfectly steamed, and um, I put it in a food processor. So I didn't want to be um, recorded while making a bunch of noise in the food processor. So I waited until after. So um, what I did was added the cauliflower to the container for the food processor and then I ordered, uh, I'm sorry, I added um, about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream for the one head of cauliflower. So heavy whipping cream, um, if you've never used it before, the more you whip it, the thicker um, whatever it is gets. So um, a treat I like to make for myself is sugar-free pudding and I mix it with this and it becomes a thick mousse and it's insanely good and it's keto so I just want to show you how awesome do these whipped this whipped cauliflower look look how thick it is um and it's there's no chunks in it it's completely creamy and it's just cauliflower and heavy whipping cream so I am going to spread this over the top of my meat mixture here oh my gosh it's like the best Best whipped cauliflower. Okay, I actually have two containers because I have a um, magic bullet, a really small, a really small uh, food processor. Really need a large one, but this one does the job. Okay. And then um, I hear little nails on the ground. It's my dogs wanting to know what I'm doing and who I'm talking to. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread it over the top. Just make sure it's even over the meat mixture. Okay. And then um, add a little bit more salt and pepper over the top. Um, again, you can wait to do this until after you bake it and do it to taste. I already know that I want a little bit more salt and pepper. So that's what I'm going to do is add a little bit more. You can also put it right in the cauliflower mixture. It's fine, too. Okay, and then I'm going to top top it off with some shredded cheese. Um, I like to use cheddar. If you use um, if you use mozzarella or Italian, it just gives it a little bit of a... I think those are sweeter, I guess. Um, I don't know if that's the word for it, but I like something a little bit sharper so I use sharp sharp cheddar or medium cheddar okay, and feel free to go crazy with the cheese because it adds creaminess and so much flavor after you cook it um sometimes if I'm feeling a little a little crazy I'll add some non-keto I things in here like sometimes I'll add some um some carrots well Carrots aren't horrible. They're just not completely keto. There's been some controversy um, whether carrots are keto or not. And if they are considered keto, they're those uh, every once in a while things or the things that you're not really supposed to have, but it's not going to be terrible. So sometimes I'll add some some carrots in there. I think it's just because they're higher in carb content. Um, traditional shepherd's pie calls for, for carrots. Um, well, the recipe I made did at least. And if I'm feeling really non-keto, I'll put corn in it. Also very good. So um, here we go. And I will just cover it with foil, pop it in the, um, the refrigerator, and then it will be ready to cook tomorrow. So what I'll do is I'll probably put it on 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. So the way to tell that it's done is the sides are bubbling. Um, you don't want to dig into the center and it'd be cold still. So put it on uh, 350 in the oven. Um, you know, wait till you see the sides bubbling and then it's probably good to go. So I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Nicole Heber, and we'll see you next time.